Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Roman City. So we're here again building the villa, uh, which is turning out to be an absolutely massive villa, but I think it'll, it'll set the mood, it'll set the whole bloody series off on it. <laughs> so it'll be quite nice. So yeah, we're building this pretty fancy-ass villa. Um, uh, last time we were doing this, um, from, from the nice Ananas' idea of uh, doing those kind of pillars, which is really good. So we're doing that. It's going to build a little bit more of this, I think, this floor. And I'm going to use oak wood. Um, I, I don't want them to feel like to, them to be too rich. You want them to know that they've got money, but um, that they're doing well because they're supplying a lot of the, the kind of like expensive wine maybe to the nobles uh, in the actual city. But um, I don't want them to be super duper rich. So there we go. We have a bit of that. And that looks already looks really cool, doesn't it? So then you have this. This is the idea that I had before with the the straight. Kind of look. So then you look through here, and then you, you can actually see the fountain here. Then actually see the garden in the back, and this is a lot more open, which actually I like uh, more than anything else like that. And then this. Now we could go for trap doors just to prop those up. Now sky biome. Oh god, what's what's the trap doors in sky biome? Because they're going to have. Well, they're not going to have to be there, but I'm, I'm going to kind of have to have them here, aren't I? And they're going to be those, aren't they? That's good. See, that's going to now possibly annoy the hell out of me. <laughs> I'm going to have to switch all these over again. So there we go, we've got a wheel in there. So I think Monster has figured it out. Hopefully. We'll see. Okay, there we go. That one, so Sunflower Plains. Okay, so we're going to use those. I uh, don't need one there, but there, there. I think we're going to do this. Just have like a, a little bit different, have like just a fence. I uh, just have a trapdoor type fence on it. There we go. Like this, and then just trapdoor the hell out of it. There, and of course this is, um, because I'm on a server, I've actually got the uh, plugin that actually does this, that allows you to put uh, trapdoors uh, on it and then delete the trapdoor, uh, delete the block that they're on. Um, so you won't be able to do it on for example, the console versions, unfortunately. Uh, I wish you could, because there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to. But, um, that's just Mojang being annoying. But there we go. That looks quite interesting. I don't really like it. But, uh, <laughs> that will do for now. Um, you know, it's fine. Now, I've already lost that block that I was going to grab. So, let's grab that one. Uh, let's start filling in a couple of these walls anyway. So, we're just going to go up to here. There as well, it's over there maybe. Don't really know what we're going to do there. I think that can actually be a bigger arch or... Can it? <laughs> Have a look. Have a look at this, right. Maybe we'll do that up there, possibly. So that's the roof. I don't even know if I'm going to have a room above this. Probably not. I don't actually have that quite open. Oh, or do we want to have it... We could have it as like a nice little seating area, couldn't you? A window or something, I don't know. I don't really know what they'd have, but that looks okay here. Unless we do want to put that across and then put those in. I don't know. I think I think more open. Bigger and more open is better. And then these are actually up anyway. Uh, because of where they're positioned. So we'll put those in then. That. Uh, maybe if we, well, we can always go over across the top, can't we, with this. If it's going to be a wall up there... That makes sense to do this. Yeah, so we'll do that. There we go. And there's also that tile texture that I just saw on the top of stairs. This one, which we can actually use to quite a good effect, hopefully. There we go. Put these in here. So it's those ones. So then we've got those. Uh, there'll be a back door on this bit. Now go up there, so that's giving us these arches. That's pretty good. So far. So far so good. So I just need to build up more framework. I know it's taking it's taking ages. This is the problem with my <laughs> my building especially takes absolutely bloody ages. Um, I think it's because I, I spend a lot of time trying to figure out things before even doing anything. Um, this actual series I've been trying to look at all the villa plans and things and try to see like a common 
come on features and good pictures and all that kind of stuff does not really exist with Roman times because uh, it's so old really um, so it's a lot of obviously things like we can see layouts around but to actually find out exactly what what they lived like uh, and if there's any oddities obviously you got like the vomitarium which I don't know if you guys know about that it's basically a room where they used to go to be sick so they could eat more so <laughs> that's stuff that people were dealing with but um, yeah interesting little fact for you guys right this wall here I think on this side I do need to extend it but I will leave it like that so I'm gonna do this and actually have a little bit of a bigger room for this side I think that would look quite good so I'm gonna have that uh, right so if we keep on building up these walls so yeah they actually had a vomitarium to basically they'd eat loads eat until they're really full go and be sick and uh, then they would come back and eat more So um, yeah interesting not so good for your for your throat actually if you do that because it will actually burn it the acid will burn you so yeah not not so good in that that kind of side but yeah they can they'll do what they want to do really won't they if they enjoy it who's, who's us to say uh, yeah. who are we to actually say don't do that especially when it's in ancient times I don't know what I'm blabbling on about now I've got so many of these walls to do just to figure it out and have a look at it. I just want to have a look. At maybe maybe just do this inside wall for the time being. So I can have a look at where it's going to like kind of sit um, as far as everything goes. Right, now I have a feeling that the way that the roof's going to have to work um, on the other side, I'm actually going to have to extend this bit here and add another free section onto it. And I think I am going to have to. So it's just a free, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to go one one, two, three, and then there. Like this. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. So that it's all square, and when I actually do the roof that's kind of curving in, I think it's the only way it's going to look right and correct. Uh, I think people will agree with me with that one. So yeah, yeah, we'll have to do that, but that's fine. It just means that we've got an extra room. Or the kitchen now. That one's another one. Maybe that can be the kitchen now. And we've got this tiny little thing here. We could have like as a cupboard. Do that, and then we've got a cupboard here, or we've just got a bigger room like that, or a bigger bedroom here. I think bigger kitchen's better. Oh, don't knock that out. So there we go. We can build these up and put back on to back to work. So yeah, we've got those wings, which I called the ally apparently. So there we go. We've got those two. Build that up, build that up, build that up, and these as well. So I actually quite like that. I quite like how that bit's a bit bigger. And it kind of like sticks out a little bit. That's going to be cool for a roof. So I'll just like nudge into it. There we go, right. And I wasn't going to do these outside, but it gives me a kind of inkling into what it'll look like from above. So there we go, and then build that up. Then that one. And then here. And then we might as well build this wall up even though it's kind of encroaching onto the other side of it that we don't really want to start on yet. So we're just planning. I think that's gonna be quite a little a long mini series. Um just to build this villa because I've I've really gone big. <laughs> I should have really gone with something like the insulae, which are uh basically the apartments. It's where in a way that we get like modern apartment buildings and flats. Um, I really should have gone with one of those, but instead I've decided to do one of the bigger things and build a bloody Roman villa and build a bloody big one as well. There's also going to be all the terraforming and stuff that we're going to have to do for the actual vines and the wineries, but there is some really good ideas I actually saw. I saw on a plot uh, that somebody did. I can't remember the guy's name, um, so I do apologise, but I did see it on somebody's plot and I did say that I'll be using this one in the future. Basically what it is, is if you grab the lapis ore and you just right click it, you get the barrel. Now that doesn't really look that much like lapis, really. You know, let's be honest. But what we can actually use is, yeah, for example this, like a little vine. There you go. You've got wine bushes, like wine berries and the actual berries in a basket or a barrel. 
How awesome is that? <laughs> so somebody actually came up with that. I was just like, how the hell did I not think about that when this was added? Because I didn't really think I was going to use it that much. I don't think there's any bone versions of this one, which is a bit of a shame, but I think we can deal with that, can't we? Yeah, no real bone versions, but that's fine. So there we go. We've got a nice idea. But thanks to the dude that came up with that, and when I saw it on a plot review, when I was doing a plot review, um, it's just awesome. Really, really awesome idea. There we go. we got these as well. Those look quite good. I uh, don't know how that's going to work across here. That's going to be quite open. Maybe we'll have the kitchen. I don't know if the kitchens are quite open or not. If it's got an arch. I'll put an arch on each side. Let's do that. So we'll cut that out. It doesn't matter if that's showing on the top. I used to bother about that and get really annoyed with it, but no, I think that's fine. Um, I'm also putting some like beams and stuff across these. Like this. There we go, like that. Let's not do it too standard. Does it as sported? There we go. Oh, not there. There we go. And that is pretty cool. So there we go. We've got a couple of little beams going across. Quite like the diagonal ones. They're looking good. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, obviously the entrance here as well. I have a natural door. Put that. Put that in. Someone goes there. Okay, and then that will be tiny. Oh. That type of little roof there, because then it, it looks like it's a bit more arched. Yes. Right, there we go. Cool. Do more on this, but no. Right. So, <laughs> back to this thing. That's looking really good. Uh, I actually quite like the red down the bottom on it. Sounds quite surprising. Um, but that was, of course, from like the reference pictures that we've got. Uh, right, now let's do the next floor. And have a look at that. So, I'm going to actually have a look at this 3D model. Uh, this model's by a really random named guy. Uh, which I can't even remember. I was going to write it down. But um, if you just search Roman Villa on the Google SketchUp warehouse, you'll actually find it. Um, so, okay, that's what we're going to go for here. I'm not obviously going to go with the greens and reds. I'm doing like quite a plain one. Um... That's looking pretty simple. I mean, these are just poles, so and that that has massive pillars that go to it. And here, it's really weird. So that's why we need to figure out. We need to figure out where the close is, uh, the close of the center, and that does actually have pillars going up there. That's crazy. But I think what I'm going to do instead is have the pillars going up this way, and maybe just do this, then one, two, and then have that maybe. I'm going to go for this, and that's where. We'll have on the inside. Oh, let's grab some brick to try and figure this out. That's probably going to be a red, yeah. And have that. Oh, that's going to have to go down even more, isn't it? It's like there. Let's figure this out. Right. I think we do need a block there. Maybe we can even do this instead. Or maybe not. We definitely have that one dipped in. Maybe we can't have that one dipped. Or maybe we can have. Pillar. It's like a one block of the pillar. I don't know. To put in there. That's looking like a damaged anvil. Don't want a damaged anvil. I want a properly good one. Don't actually know if they're damaged on those. No, that doesn't look good. I think we need. What do we need? I'm gonna do that. We're gonna need that in there. Uh, maybe a chiselled. Let's grab the chiselled one. Chisel one up there. Or do the other way round. Don't have that, and then have that. Oh yeah, we can do something like that as well. Uh, there. Or there. And that's not gonna look good. All right. Okay. Well, we'll do that upside uh, up, right way up, right way up, upside down. For now, because <laughs> I can't decide. Right up, upside down. Because that's a nice little simple thing to do to add in a little bit of detail. These corner pieces we don't need to worry about too much at all. I mean, they will have natural blocks in them, but 
Not the minute. There, and here as well. There, like that. There, and I've just got the two bits here. Now, it does mean that those other rooms are going to be really big, so I think we might even need to knock this down a bit. <laughs> Luckily it does that. Uh, it seems that I'll just have that, that one there. I just don't like how that looks. You know, we could even just have that, couldn't we? I don't like the gap, but... That gap doesn't matter. I think, yeah. Well, now I'm now going to knock all these out. And probably put those, those in. Oh well. Got to learn. And we're going to have those in there as well, in the corners. Okay. There. Right, and then we just have that. Nice small little thing like this. Not there. And then... I'll go to one of those. And again, have that type thing here. And that's pretty much it. Maybe even that one, that one can actually be like this instead. Or not. Oh. Alright, let's do this again. As soon as I figure this out, it'll be fine. At the minute, I'll just blather on like an idiot. And which is what I do. There we go. So I'll have that. Uh, that is, of course, been going to be a nightmare for, for down here. But that's because we were having the trapdoors in them, so hopefully we should be able to find one that isn't there. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> right, then this is going to go... Right, if I'm doing doing like a detail bit, which I don't think I really need, really need to do, unless we have that. I do want to see the arches, yeah. So I'll have that over here. To there. That'll then go around all this bit. To there. And if we two thing thing. Yeah, that's right. So there we go. And let's keep bringing this in. Might be that it just goes down quite a lot. To here and then keeps on going. But uh, is that gonna be enough? Then we can basically build the roof off this. Maybe one more. Or is that going to be too thin? That's just going to give us a two. That, they were quite thin, weren't they? So that doesn't look right to me. That looks the wrong way. Because it is, so... Is that how it's going to be? Two of the... Oh, now we're going to have two of those there. Then an anvil. And then a block. Is it on? It's in front of those blocks, right? Okay. So yeah, because the way I've done it, it's a little bit different than what I was planning. So I think this is going to have to be this way then. Maybe. So it's a four by five, and then that kind of works a little bit better. No, I think it'll be all right. I think that'll be okay. I think that is how it needs to be as well. Now, obviously, that does on the picture have these pillars going down as well to like there. So that makes it really small. Um, I don't know how I'm going to support that roof. Because <laughs> I will need to. I just realised, yeah, I definitely will need to. Oh uh, god. Let's just do that for the time being. Alright, well at least it figures itself out, you know. Do those, and we'll we'll figure out what to do next time. I think, or we'll we'll probably just leave this until we get around to it. At least that gives us some really really tall, bloody beams. Yeah, but I don't know. We've made some progress. Uh, we have made some progress. Um, what I'll do off camera is I'll build up all of these on the inside part. All of these that I've just done. Uh, I'm going to leave that one because that's going to go up to here. Uh, might as well quickly just cycle through if I can find one. Stupidly quickly. Let's find. See if we can. Let's see if the corner, the corner pieces are fine. Okay, we just need the corner pieces. So I'll fix all of these again. I'll switch over. So no matter what, we won't find the exact perfect one. But if we're not having a trap door above this, it will be absolutely fine. Like that. So that's good. So yeah, I'll do. I'll go around this one here. We can then figure out the next room, which is going to be quite high actually 
going to be quite high up if that's going to stop. Unless that stops on top of this. Um, and then has a little raise and then has a, a little dip over here. And don't really know how we're going to do that, to be honest. But we'll figure that out like in the next episode. It's looking good, though, so far. I quite I really like this atrium. Uh, it's much better than what I did before because I've got so much more space. It's about the same size as um as the last the concept house I did. But, yeah, it's starting to take shape. It looks a bit crazy at the minute. But hopefully you guys are enjoying it anyway. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.